hackers love passwords, but they absolutely hate passkeys. Here are the top five reasons why you need to start using passkeys as soon as this video ends. Welcome to Passkeys 101, a series where I tell you all things you need to know about passkeys in an easy and digestible way. My name is Carla and I'm a senior developer advocate here at Auth0 by Okta. I've been working as a software engineer for over 10 years, so I've dealt with authentication systems a fair amount of times. And because of my new role, I've been working more in the identity and security space. Today, I'm here to list the five reasons why you need to start using passkeys so we can finally leave passwords behind. Number five is especially important, so stay tuned until the end so you can find out. Let's get to it. A passkey is a cryptographic key pair in a password, it's no more than a random string that is usually not so hard to guess for an attacker. A cryptographic key pair is not easy to crack. It's based on math problems that are usually very difficult to solve. These keys are computationally generated following cryptographic algorithms such as RSA. And in order to access something that has been encrypted with your public key, that is one part of the key pair, you need to have access to the private key, which is the other part of the keeper. And this is not really a trivial task. Even if you get a phishing email and you even click on the link inside the email, there is no way you're gonna be able to use your passkey with that link. This is because when you create a passkey, it is directly linked to the domain where you created it, the authenticator and your user account. So in a phishing attack, the link or the domain won't be the same, and so the attack will have no effect. Creating and using passkeys is actually very simple. All you need to do is give consent and then use your biometrics or a PIN to start using it. There's no need to get creative in terms of using uppercase, lowercase, camel case, numbers, uh, special characters, and all this stuff because they are automatically generated key pairs. When you use passkeys, you're already using two factors in one, which means that you're using multi-factor authentication. A passkey is something that you have, and that's the first factor. And to use it, you need to provide something that you know, for example, like a pin, or something that you are, like your biometrics, like, like your fingerprint. And that would be the second factor. Although it's recommended that you set another factor, like an authenticator app or email, for recovery reasons. Passkeys offer one of the highest level of assurance that the user that is authenticator is actually who they say they are. On one hand, you have the phishing resistance aspect, which already enforces that the user is in the right place or the right domain, and also that they're using the same keeper that they use to create the passkey. And on the other hand, you have the fact that passkeys authentication always requires some sort of user interaction. You always have to either enter a PIN or use your biometrics to use your passkey. Actually, some relying parties enforce user verification. That means that they will force the user to use an authenticator that is capable of verifying the user's identity, like your Mac's Touch ID or a YubiKey's BioSeries or fingerprint reader. In this video, you learned five reasons why you should start using passkeys as your primary authentication method, which all in all is just the better and more secure way. Can you think of other reasons to make the switch? Let me know in the comments below. And also, thanks for watching. <laughs>